I saw a, a post, a, a, a post on Instagram that said, what's the, um, what's the craziest thing an ex has done to you? And I was thinking about this and I was like, have I ever talked, talked about this before? I know I've told people I know, but I don't know if I've ever shared this on the podcast before. So, and maybe this is not the craziest. It was the most bizarre for me. Um, I feel like men do a lot of bizarre shit that maybe we don't talk about, but <laughs> the most bizarre thing that has ever happened to me is a guy took money out of my bank account, like, backstory, because it sounds, it, it needs context so that I don't speak about this person in the wrong way. So, uh, we had had a previous bank transaction from one account to the next account, right? And so the accounts were linked because before there was Zelle, if you guys remember, this was a long time ago now, but before before there was Zelle where you could just transfer money and it either, it, either it takes what, one to three days, sometimes it could take minutes, other times it could take up to three days. Um, so it wasn't that simple there wasn't like a go between or like a third party uh that you would go to it would just be like bank to bank and we had different banks so um obviously because they were different banks they weren't uh the transfers wouldn't go through immediately it would take i think like five days or something like that in any event um I, so it had been linked for that period of time, whatever period of time it had been since whatever transaction we had had. And then around the time that we, before we broke up, <laughs> we were kind of in a weird space before we broke up. I think I knew for a while that we were going to break up. I just didn't know like it was kind of like, oh, well, you know, we've been together for X amount of years. This feels like something I should make an effort to preserve. Um, but also I need to figure out what to do next. So I wasn't sure how to break things off with this man. Um, or I wasn't sure totally that I wanted to. It became clear, leading up to the breakup, it became clearer and clearer that it needed to happen. Um, but anyway, so we were living apart, like in different cities. It was, it was long distance. It wasn't always long distance, but it became a long distance situation. And I remember one day, um... We had an argument about something and I can't remember what he said to me, but, and I can't remember what we were arguing about, to be honest, but I do remember him mentioning that, you know, that's why, you know, um, that's why he made sure he, he got his money back. And I was like, huh? I didn't know what he was talking about because I didn't know him money just so we're clear there wasn't any there wasn't any loan situations going on right like at least not to my knowledge I checked my bank account right and I realized that a transaction was made from my account to his account now I want to be clear about something it wasn't a large amount of money. It was, in fact, a very small amount of money. I think it was about $10 or something like that. 10 maybe $20 at most, if I'm remembering correctly. And I couldn't figure out what the hell. I was like, well, how could you even do it? Like, how, do you, how, did, how did you even initiate this transaction? Like, did you go into my, did you go into my bank account? Like, what happened here? You know, like, is this identity theft? <laughs> like, what is this? Like, did you use my social? I don't think he knew my social, but did you, what what personal information did you use to make this happen? So, 
so anyway so i'm like all right what happened here so i confront him after i figured out that this this thing had happened i confront him and i'm like hey like what ha like why why did you take money out of my account like i need to understand what happened here and i need to know how you did it too so he's like oh i just I just requested the transfer and I'm like requested the transfer. I don't understand why the bank was allowing this shit to happen. I have no idea why this why I don't I don't know if you could do this today. I think today you can request money but you can't actually take money out of somebody's account. I don't know why that was okay back then. But whatever. So and I'm being long-winded. It's really not that long of a story. <laughs> I confront him and he's like, I took the money out of your account because you you borrowed five dollars from me and you never paid me back. We spent a lot of time together uh, prior to not living in the same city, right? We spent a lot of time together. So... I say all that to say that you know there was there there were a lot of moments where it would be like oh like you pay for that and I'll like give you back the money or something like that there was a day where I had to go to work um and I realized I didn't have any cash on me and I needed I needed cash to get to work so I knew that he kept um he had much like cash like ones uh on his uh he was a religious man and he kept his tithes <laughs> on his dresser and so i was like okay i'ma just borrow five dollars i'll give him his five dollars back later i took the he had left already i took the five dollars i messaged him and i said hey realized i didn't have any money on me i need to go to the bank I borrowed five dollars. I'll give it back to you later. He was like, "Ah, oh, it's cool, you know, whatever." I guess I forgot, and I can admit that I forgot. I'm a forgetful person. Um, <laughs> I forget things. I do, and honestly, that five dollars was not on my radar. It just wasn't. Um, this taught me a very good lesson, though, about making sure that other people's shit is always on your radar. But nonetheless, it was not on my radar. So I forgot about it. He didn't remind me. I just, And I forgot. And that was fine. All this time had passed and I didn't remember. And probably a bunch of different hey i got you on this i got you on that blah 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 later he's like you never gave me back my five dollars that you borrowed that day so since you didn't give it back to me i took it out of your account how is that the same how is how is that the same and apparently he couldn't take out five dollars the bank wouldn't allow him to take out five dollars so he took out 10 or 20. how is that the same and what the fuck is wrong with you that you couldn't just say hey d um you know that five dollars you borrowed you never gave it back to me um and i was just wondering what happened with that tell me we were younger right so five dollars meant a lot right i could understand why he needed his five dollars back um i don't that's not i, I want to make that point because i feel like today i would probably be like what the fuck is he hounding me about five dollars for but nonetheless <laughs> i knew i understood that it was important and i felt terrible when i realized that i didn't give it back to him i was just like oh shit like I truly forgot, didn't even remember it happened, um, would have never, again, my intention wasn't, like, I knew what that money was for, so I would have never just taken, I, that's not my style, um, I would rather not have had money that day <laughs> if I knew that it was gonna turn into a thing, 
Like, that's how I am. And maybe that's not the best way to be. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, I would never, ever, I would never, ever do that. Like, I don't want no problems. So I'm pissed. And I'm like, what do I do? Like, do I break up with this man? Like, is he right? Like, is this like an eye for an eye? Like I took his money, so he took my money. But I was honest from the beginning. Like he did this shit behind my back and then waited until he was upset with me about something else to throw it in my face. Why are you being so spiteful, my nigga? Why are you being so spiteful? Like, what is what is that about? Like, where does that come from? Where does that, that streak of, like, passive aggression? Like, where does that shit come from? Like, where do y'all get that from? Your mama? Or who, who did, who, who taught you that? Like, where'd you get it from? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. That was probably the most bizarre thing a dude has ever done. You know, besides the nigga that tried to grab my jaw, which... Never saw him again after that day because we don't do abuse over here. Like, no. But that was the craziest thing. Because I can actually imagine someone, you know, like getting aggressive um, as being more commonplace than somebody going into your bank account and taking money out, no matter how, how big or small the amount is. It was just the weirdest shit. It was the weirdest shit. The weirdest shit. But yeah, that's the craziest thing that a dude has ever done um, to me. An ex, specifically, has ever done to me. Um, I never got back the difference of the money. He never returned that to me. I didn't think he would, but I no, I just... I never did. Um, and again, that taught me a very good lesson about making sure that I, listen, if I need to borrow something or somebody does something for me, that I need to make sure that I am square with whoever it is. I don't play about those things because I don't want no problems. None.